Let's speak to Scott Heidler, who's in Grabovo in eastern Ukraine. And uh, Scott, you, I know you're at the scene of, well, part of the uh, crash site because one presumes that it's spread over quite a wide area. Just describe the scenes there. Yeah, no, it's spread over quite a wide area, 10 kilometers, actually, a circumference of 10 kilometers. Now, we spent the night overnight, and obviously there wasn't much going on, but what we saw in the morning, there were a lot, of, a lot more um, rescue officials, rescue workers coming in, and they started the grim task just after dawn of identifying where the location of those uh, 298 people, and this is what it looked like. These are emergency service uh, personnel who've been on the scene for a couple of hours this morning. Uh, as you can see, they're holding sticks with uh, white cloth on the top of it. They're marking bodies. Um, they've been wa walking through these fields here, coming on this side. Again, this is a road, a farm road, that divides the debris fields. They've been in there, and you can see maybe some of the stakes out there where there are remains. What's interesting is when one of these gentlemen, uh, right when they walked past this debris field, they just came up a couple minutes ago, they, um, he said, there are too many bodies, we don't have enough stakes. So they're moving on to a different area, you can see down to the field. This is the tail section of this aircraft here. Um, the, the tail fin is over there, this part is here, and then um, back up the road you have even bigger debris fields. You have one on this side and you have one even further down that seems to be the biggest debris field. You can see the landing gear, both engines are there. There's even a bit of a, a groove in the, uh, the earth where clearly there was some kind of impact. So these gentlemen are going to be marking where the bodies are, but what the most important thing right now for, for the international community, because this is now an international incident, is that the investigation as to why these men are looking for bodies took place. And Scott, you know, given the, the, the political considerations of where you are and the fact that it's uh, under the control of, of, of pro-Russia separatists, I mean, how is that investigation uh, going to proceed? What, what are people there telling you about the recovery efforts and what happens from now? Yeah, well, the, uh, the investigation will probably focus on this area, as just in that piece, as I was talking about, the larger debris field, that's where this is. And if you can look over my shoulder, you will see the engines of this 777 aircraft. There's the landing gear there. This is the area of this crash scene where there's the most material from the aircraft. So I would imagine this is where they would start to look because this would be the natural spot with all this debris here. What we're hearing, we're hearing that um, the international community has allowed, has had an agreement with the uh, separatist fighters, the separatist administration that controls this area, that they will allow international investigators to come in. And we're expecting that. We're hearing from sources that that will start this afternoon. Um, but it, it needs to be said, that's going to be you know, almost close to, if not after, 24 hours after this incident. And there's, there are a lot of things going on here. Yes, people identifying bodies, um, local people coming out here. And actually, there's a, there's a truck here who's putting up uh, the power lines here. So this, in essence, is, is a pretty contaminated site, a contaminated scene that these investigators, international investigators, are going to have to come through. Now, also, there's conflicting reports if the black box has actually been found. Um, we're not sure if that's the case. Word coming out of Russia is that it was, but obviously that's what these international investigators are going to focus on immediately to try and find that. And with this amount of debris from this aircraft, both engines, both landing gear here, this is um, going to be some, a place that they start to look. But again, it's going to take a long, long time. It's a very wide area here where um, all this debris is spread out. Indeed. Scott, thank you for that. Scott Heidler uh, at the scene of the crash there.